Do you ever feel like you're running out of space in your garden? Every season, we do, and it's caused us to seek out the most efficient ways to grow more food in the same space. Welcome to the Frederick Family Acre. My name's George. And my name's Katrina, and on our channel, we share gardening, how to cook your homegrown food from scratch with some homesteading sprinkled in. Be sure to stick around until the end for today's bonus tip. Now let's get into it. Make sure you never let a space in your garden go empty. We did this a lot as new gardeners. A plant would reach the end of its life, and when we pulled it out, we would not plant something new in its place in order to take up that space. If you have just 30 days until your first frost, you can put more food in and get a full harvest from it. Things like spinach, radishes, and greens will absolutely give you food in 30 days. If you have 60 days, you have even more options. Companion planting or interplanting is another great way to grow more food in your existing garden space. Not only are you going to have bigger harvests, but increasing biodiversity in your garden will reduce pest and disease pressure. In all of our garden beds, we like to have a main crop or two, some flowers, and some herbs. There are lots of charts online that will tell you what plants go best together and a quick Google search will help you find out what kind of companion planting you can try. Now before we move on to method number three, we really want to thank you guys for being here. It means a ton to us. If you're getting anything out of this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you can think of someone who needs to know or wants to know how to get more food out of the same size space, share this video with them. Add containers to your garden. We love of using containers in our garden. They can be placed where a full-size garden bed will not fit and they can be moved around if where you initially place them is not getting enough or is getting too little sun. One of our absolute favorite crops to grow in containers is potatoes. This is a crop that could take up a ton of valuable raised bed real estate, but thrives in containers. We have a few videos about growing potatoes in containers that we will link for you in the comments below. Vertical gardening is incredible and efficient. Not only does it save a ton of space, it also looks stunning in the garden. It can be as simple as staking up your zucchini plants or as wild as setting up fences or trellises using cattle panels and attaching your plants to them that way. Another option in the vertical growing space is garden towers or tower gardens. We love these because many of these systems can grow upwards of 50 plants in a two to four square foot area. Last and probably the option that will get you the greatest increased yield in your garden is fall gardening. Planting a fall garden is going to greatly increase your yield because instead of leaving spaces empty as your spring and summer crops taper off, you are filling it full of delicious, cool weather loving crops that really struggle in the heat of summer. The best time to think about the fall garden is in the middle of summer. You need to look at how many days you have until your first frost date and then get seeds going in mid to late summer for a fall and winter harvest. Here we have a sunflower that's reaching the end of its life and these beans and we will be taking these out so we can enjoy some fall crop. Fall gardening is amazing. The weather's cooler, there are less bugs and there are so many delicious crops to enjoy by planting during this season. There is a lot of magic, beauty, and abundance to be found in the fall garden. And if you have not tried fall gardening yet, we highly recommend that you do. And now it's time for that bonus tip. And that is to always keep sowing. We like to have plants going in trays or pots all year long. So when a plant reaches the end of its life, we can pull it out and put something in that's a little bit more mature than direct sowing seeds. This allows us to get to harvest even faster. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. We hope you learned something new to help you get even more abundance out of your garden. We know your time's valuable. We love that you chose to spend it here with us and we will see you back here on the next video.